I started drumming when I was about 13 years old. Uh, my interest in it began before that, whilst watching the old Grey Whistle Test, and I seen one of my favourite bands on there called The Damned. And um, once I seen Rascabies playing, that was it. You know, I was like, that's it, I'm going to be a drummer, that's what I want to do. Well, when I first started to play, I was completely absorbed in that one form of music. It was, you know, so all, all my influences, all the records I was listening to, um, it was all punk based. But of course, you know, back in those days, and even now, you know, it was a very varied, uh, you know, um, spectrum, you know, because you'd have like the old school punk, like your Sex Pistols and the Damned. They didn't sound anything like the post-punk bands like Killing Joke and Joy Division. Um, and those bands didn't sound anything like, um, you know, the, 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 the hardcore punk bands that came after like Discharge and GBH and The Exploited. And then, of course, you had the American bands that had their own thing as well, with the Dead Kennedys, Bad Brains, etc. You know, so so they, they, there was a lot to be, you know, a lot of influence to be uh, to be drawn from. The opportunities, it, it, you know, it, it, it's all about, you know, it's hustling, really, as much as I don't like to use that word. I mean, I come from North Wales, so for starters, the first thing I had to do was, was kind of hustle my way out of there um, by trying to get into bands that were uh, based, you know, were not based further afield from where I live, but were more centrally based to where things were happening musically. So, of course, we know London would be the main one, but of course, you know, but Manchester as well. Birmingham was a big one for me. And now, you know, years later, I'm back based in Birmingham again with Memoriam, the, you know, the, the band I currently play for. Memoriam is my main project. Um, in 2020, I was invited to do some work for them. I'd never ever played in a, you know, like I'd never played that genre of music before, you know, um, death metal, and I was a bit, uncertain whether I was cut for it, whether I could do it, because I got a lot of respect for those players. I know that they're all highly skilled and, and highly um, motivated players to that kind of playing. And it's not something you can just do just because you're an able player. You know, I, I worked on it and um, I wanted to do it. I fancied a new challenge. It felt like a new avenue for me to look at. Um, I've always been into, you know, varied playing. Um, you know, uh, a lot of what I get called for is what you might call high energy drumming, be it, you know, punk or alternative or hardcore uh, or thrash metal, now death metal. But, you know, you know, I'll, I've always loved reggae drumming and in fact been on tour with HR from Bad Brains where he was playing an exclusive reggae set. So, um, yeah, I love all that and, and that, the equipment that I use, I, I like, I want to reflect that as well. It has to be versatile because that's what I like and the more kaleidoscopic for me, you know, the better. This kit that I've got here is a maple. I did try the other kits, they were equally nice. I've used birch a lot in the past. The reason I went with uh, the maple, which is, you know, basically my, my main choice, is because it's the wood I've played the most. So I, I basically go for something that I know works, 
But as I said, you know, the key that I want is versatility. So the first thing that I needed to sort out was the bass drums. So I just went for two 22 inch bass drums. Um, I've normally always used a single kick with a, a double pedal, but now that I'm more involved with Memoriam, I felt I needed the two bass drums for that, you know, certainly. Um, and then I wanted, you know, the spread on the toms. So um, having the two eight inch toms, one's a slightly different depth to the other. That was something that Natal done for me. Uh, it's not always easy to get that kind of thing, certainly not off the shelf. Um, and then I had the 10, 12, 13 and 16 inch floor. Um, the snare, uh, in this instance, is a 14 by seven. That changes a bit. Uh, and the Natal Timbale here um, isn't something that I normally have. Um, I normally use a second snare, but uh, because Natal do such lovely percussion, you know, I'd be a fool not to use it. And basically I can mix and match with those. So um, I might choose to use an eight, 10, 12 tom configuration and not have them as the, you know, the smaller, higher toms. It just basically means I can mix and match. The other interesting thing that I found with this kit, or found with what I've used with Natal, is that they're versatile in, in, in the, the tuning of the drums. I mean, you know, like a lot of kits I found will just have a sweet spot. You hit the tom, you tune it, and it's like, and you know, you try and change it, and suddenly it sounds it's like a choke, so it, you know, sounds flappy. But what I've noticed with, you know, like the Natal is that, you know, you can have them quite low and, you know, they sound fat, but you can take them up, you know, if you want that more jazzier tone and, and they're still singing. So, you know, very, you know, very versatile.